this video is going to be um, about three weeks from now so you're seeing this in the past uh, main reason is is because this is going to be my build-off truck for the up-and-coming uh, magnet 5 forum build-off now I'm taking a different approach to everyone else um, everyone else is like making scratch built um, sort of scratch built RCs or or they're getting a kit or they're um, they're getting a name brand uh, vehicle me I'm taking a different approach to this build uh, I'm going to be stripping what's inside here down and uh, going to be putting uh, hobby spec uh, radio gear on it so there's a warning this isn't hobby grade yet but it will be by the end of the build off so let's get this bad boy open and I'll show you what it is Okay, now the box does look like it's been kicked around and thrown around like a football, but that's Australia Post. You pay a fortune for the postage and then they just don't care about it. Okay, so let's get this bad boy open. And let's have a look and see what we get. Now, this is a fresh unboxing, so I've got no idea which version of this vehicle I've got. Um, so that's a warning. I don't know what I'm going to get. So, let's have a look. There we go. Righto. Well, there it is. It's a uh, HB ZP1001. Um, this is a sort of a toy grade shot at replicating a Traxxas TRX4. Um, the good news is, is that you, you could crawl this thing straight out of the box. It's just not very good. A uh, few improvements you can do to them is like adding shocks and replacing, of course, all the electronics with um, hobby-grade stuff. And it's easy to do. Well, relatively easy. So I don't know which one I've got because these come in two different varieties. One's called the Wild Tiger, and it's a green camo look. And the other one's called the Unbounded Pioneer, which is the silver one. So I don't know which one I've got because the box gets shipped out um, as the same colour. Um, so I guess we're going to find out. Uh, just on the box, it says it's capable of 15 kilometres an hour. And it's IPX4 uh, ingress protection. So it's reasonably splash proof straight out of the box. So don't worry if, you know... If you get this one for your kid and uh, you want to go trailing with them, at least you know if they drive it into some water, then it's going to be okay. But full submersion is not recommended. Um, it's 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's a one-tenth scale. It's all-wheel drive, aka four-wheel drive. Uh, it's got ball bearings throughout. Uh, it's splash-proof electronics, uh, strengthened shocks, and optimized tires. Um, so yeah, it's called the Unbounded Pioneer, um, but the other one's called, as I said, the Wild Tiger, and it's got a camo paint job, so I'm not sure which one I've got. So let's get this thing undone. Uh, just a few things on the side of it. Um, it says it's got a rudder machine, a rudder machine, aka steering servo. Uh, it looks like it's plastic gear. Uh, it's got bull bearings, that's B U L L. -L bearings. Um, bull, bull bearings on engine have a balanced and stable effect and also the effect of adjusting the gap made the car run more smoothly. High strength suspension springs, high speed tyre, off-road tyres, even in mud, mountainous roads, grass, um, paving can easily... what? Pay? This is the best Chingrish I've ever seen. Um, so, it's got off-road tyres, even in mud, mountain roads, grass paving can easily through let you infinite enjoy a crazy off-road. Uh, the car guard frame, the frame can have uh, the effect of collision avoidance. 
All that means it's got bumper bars, so if you're running into anything, at least the body should not get damaged. Um, it's got pretty much everything that a little Land Cruiser should have. Um, so it's got digital proportional steering, uh, front and back advanced suspension system, TPR rubber high grip, and brake control. I'm not exactly sure what brake control means, but anyway. Um, yeah, the box, as I said, looks like it's been beaten about a bit. Uh, it does come with a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery and requires four AA batteries for the controller. So let's get this bad boy out. Okay, that's one. There's a big lot of tape down here on the side. So we'll just go like that. And then we'll just open her up. Again. Oh, have I missed the one on the bottom? Yeah, there's a bit more tape on the bottom. Yep, there we go. So, there's our first hint. There's a tyre. <laughs> so, I'm not sure how this thing's mounted in the box, but we have a tyre. Um, okay. So, let's just pull that. So, HB Toys uh, Rally Racing RC Unbounded Pioneer 4x4. It says a one-tenth scale four-wheel drive rally car. Okay, so maybe it's not set up to do crawling, but rally racing. Who knows? Okay, it's sideways. So let's get it out. I don't really want to pull on that spare tire because I might break it. Hey, oh, hit yourself in the face with the box. Way to go, champ. And there it is. Um, so I did get the one that I thought I'd get. The body is a little bit beaten up, but I think I can pop that out. So that shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, so let's just undo it. it. The body is held on with uh, uh, body pins. They're small, but they are there. There we go. I'm just popping that body out as we unplug it. Alright, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, one of my shocks has completely snapped off. Hmm. So this has been kicked around in shipping. So I think I might be um, taking a photo of that and uh, getting a refund. Or at least some money off. Uh, it has lights, front and rear lights. Um, so I'm just going to disconnect those very quickly. Not sure I can. But anyway, there is the truck itself. Um, that shock is clearly snapped off. So I'm going to have to put in a claim for that. Because um, it's clearly busted. So as you can see here, that front shock... Oh, here. That front shock near my palm, uh, it ain't supposed to be like that. So I'm going to be replacing the shocks on this thing anyway. So I'll take photos of it and you know then lodge a claim through eBay for damages. Um, but yeah, um, pretty well detailed body. It is. I thought it was going to be a hard body, but it turns out it's a, a polycarbonate body. Um, looks like there's plenty of um, accessories installed on it and you guys will see more of this truck as I basically tear it down for the build off um, but yeah um, pretty good so far I'm liking what I see so yeah there is the HB um, yeah the HB uh, unbounded Pioneer um, as you can see because of that front shock's broken it's got a lot of flex on the front end, um, so that's good. Um, tires feel okay, they're not extra grippy, they're rather hard actually. Uh, everything on here is assembled with Phillips screws. There isn't a uh, hex anywhere near here. So it's all held together with Phillips screws. Um, oh, except for the steering servo. Steering servo does have a hex on it, right there at the front. So there we go. Um, 
Yeah. The um, Unbound Upon You. I guess you guys are going to have to wait for a running video. Um, but it's definitely smaller than a TRX-4, that's for sure. Definitely a lot smaller. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I'd say it's a 111th. It seems to be a little bit smaller than 110th, to be brutally honest. But uh, there you go, lights, front, rear, lots of accessories mounted to the body, snorkel, uh, bull bar, grill, wheel guards. Um, all in all, the details are pretty damn good. Uh, I'm kind of happy about that. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's the unboxing of the um, HB uh, ZP1001. So I'm just going to have a look at that controller if I can get it out. Let's see what that controller's got. I wonder if it's got uh, endpoint adjustment, things like that. Uh, yeah. There it is. Here we go. We've got some instructions. Oh, look at this. Full parts guide. Um, so the models they, they offer are the ZP1001, which is the uh, the Wild Tiger, or the Max Tiger it's saying here, the Max Tiger 3. Um, ZP1002 is actually what this is called, not a 1001 like I got told on the descriptions. It's a ZP1002, and then they do a one ZP1004 and a ZP1003, and to be honest with you, both of them look like they could be a clone of a, uh, of a G-Made Komodo double cap. I'll try and get you a foot look at that, but it's very dark. Mm, very dark indeed. Um, but there's a parts guide, so there's parts numbers. So it looks like this is kind of like a toy grade that can be uh, can have parts replacements. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. So you can order the body separately. Uh, you can order the cage and the frame separately. In fact, nearly everything on this truck can be ordered separately. Full pass guide. That's kind of cool. It's an RC540 motor, but it doesn't specify what turn it is. Uh, let's have a look at that controller, if I can get it out. There we go. Um, oh, it takes four double A's in the bottom in a long mounted direction. So four double A's there. It's rather skinny. Um, it just has uh, trim, just has trim and a reverse for the steering. That's it. There's nothing else on it. There's no endpoint adjustment. Uh, simple on-off switch. Kind of tiny. Uh, the grip feels all right, but it feels very toy grade. It feels toy grade. But then again, this is toy grade. So what did you expect? Um, but yeah, so what's going to happen with this is it's going to take um, a full build down. It's going to be stripped back, back down to a bare chassis. Uh, stripped down, back down to a bare chassis and reassembled from scratch. Alrighty guys, until next time, I will say bye for now. See ya!